Loyal subscriber Tsebo came back to Johannesburg early from his holiday to play golf at Kailami Country Club. Among his friends, he is known as the best player to never break 90. Some people think it's too hard for guys looking to break 90 to be consistent enough to follow my systems. My basic system to break 90 is like this. 1. Hit the straightest club you have that also goes a minimum of 160 yards. Please note, I said minimum, which means 160 yards or more. You can choose a 6-iron or even your driver, whatever you are most comfortable hitting and can rely on to go straight enough 90% of the time. 2. Find your most comfortable club to approach greens with. Then split approaches that are longer than your longest club into two shorter shots. Choose any club you like. 3. Pick your most comfortable and confident mid-iron 5, 6 or 7. 4. Learn to chip to inside 4 feet of the hole. 5. Practice putting from 4, 3 and 2 feet. 6. Miss the greens in the right area, avoiding all hazards. Essentially, you can break 90 with 5 clubs. If you also practice my chipping technique and learn to land the ball on any spot you choose, you'll smash 90. Let's take a look at T-Bone's round and where he can slash strokes. Here's a situation where we need to hit the green inside 100 yards, a two putt from there and an easy bogey. Exhibit A, four shots inside 100 yards. That's fine there. Oh, no. Great shot. Absolutely fantastic. Good. Now that's good. Perfect. See there? Look at that speed. Yeah. Look at that speed. Get in! Oh. Oh. Now check out, it keeps going because of the grain. Yeah. A perfectly executed hole. Never touched a fairway, but avoided big trouble. Two putts. Par threes are where you can pick up one or two pars around. I advised T-Bone to aim for the back edge after I hit mine Oscar Bravo a moment earlier. Exhibit B. No three putts allowed. Learn to putt to within four feet of the hole and practice three or four footers like your life depends on it. This is the only area where you can be as lethal as the pros. We just need good fundamentals and a lot of practice. Great shot. Fine. If your driver gets you into trouble, ditch it for a while. Notice how the axis of evil narrows when you hit a shorter club. Less danger is reachable, and the increased loft and shorter shaft give you much more chance of being in play and hitting a good shot. Yeah, you just want to get it back in the fairway. The least stressful shot. Here, T-Bone wanted to do something crazy, but I told him just to chip it out. Yeah, Let's hit it onto the green in four shots, and GTFO. Now you're getting it, now you're getting it. Better, gotta hit it. That's a great putt. Mm. Delicious. Take that. Hundred percent, sir. This was a perfectly set up shot. It's a tight approach on a tough hole with lots of trouble around. Ah. 
Exhibit C. Short irons and wedges have way more margin for error. When you're at your distance limit, think twice about what is the most stress-free shot in that situation. When at the upper range of your strength, you usually hit it too hard and then... Disaster. A super easy wedge layup and then a super comfortable approach shot is stress-free golf player. Okay. Yep, yeah, great shot. Yes, there we go. Perfect bogey. Perfect. Perfect shot. What a shot. What a shot. That's perfect. Perfect. Notice how easy and in control T-Bone is over these holes, even with a few puffy shots. Look at that, stress-free golf. Perfect shot. You know what I say. Just Got get it. it on the green. Gotcha. Okay, are you gonna put up here? Just like that. What a shot! That's your best shot of the day. Just like that. Oh. No, dude, it's fun. See, that's why a nine may be better. I don't want to hit my sandwich hard. Okay, but look at the, the trajectory. Will it get over? No. Can you hit can you can you chip a six iron? Or seven iron? Can you chip one? Can try. Yeah. Chip a seven iron at the right edge of the halfway house. Okay. Just like that. What a shot, bro. Perfection. Thanks. In the hole. What a player. Oh, jeez. Okay, good shot. And then from. You catch it. Go. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Flat buzz right there. Yeah, that's fine. Now you can have a decent approach in. Yep. That's one of your best shots. You just set up exactly there. Gotta hit him, boy. Key. Yeah. Into the grain. 
Great shot, sir. Here's what may happen the first time you try the system. You'll feel weird hitting a wedge from 190 and may screw up a few. But quickly, after hitting the same club over and over, you'll get it so consistent. I promise, it's much easier to get great at a gap wedge than a 5 iron. What you got? 7 iron. Yeah, and then what I want you to do is don't put it short here, hey? Yeah. Go, go to the shadow of the tree there, because then you're going to have a flatter chip. When you're down here in the valley, you're going to have to chip up. If you go to the, past that, over the shadows there, you've got a flatter chip on. Cool. Oh. Look at that, look at that. Exactly what you need. Perfect. In. Perfect. Great shot. Yeah, no problems there. Yeah, fine. Get out. Just like that. Fine. A nope. little bit left, but a great shot. Yeah, I think it hit something. We'll find it. Oh. I have to tell you, man, you are set up. You are set up left. Like When playing downhill or downwind, you need to change clubs. This one is straight downhill and straight downwind. The trouble is over the back and it's horrific back there. He chose a 7 iron. I didn't stop him so I could show you a lesson. Sorry, Tsepo. Lol. This distance is usually his 7 iron on flat ground. No wind. Downhill, this was playing 8 yards shorter. Downwind, it was easily another club shorter. So he should have been hitting maximum a nine iron. Good. Shot of the day. Give us all in one. That's now. What did you hit, dude? Seven. No, that's way too much club. Guys, find the trouble and avoid it by selecting the club that will never get you there. If trouble is long, play the front edge. If trouble is short, play the back edge. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Here's an example of picking your shots carefully. T-Bone had a longish approach, but I told him it was only a wedge to carry the water. Knowing this eliminated the hazard from his mind and gave him massive confidence. So he swung easy and relaxed. An important note with the system is that you can approach a green from a distance that you are comfortable with and feel relaxed hitting. If your maximum stress-free approach shot is 170 yards, that's fine. If it's 130 yards, then get the ball to 130 yards from the green, even if you putt it 40 yards down the fairway. Look at that. Perfect. What a shot! That's close, bro. Over. Yeah. That's how much distance you got, you see? Six would have gone. Ah. Perfect, perfect. Sir. Exhibit D. Know your distances, players. Know the distance you carry the ball 80% of the time, not the distance you hit it one time in the summer of 2015. The distance it goes 80% of the time. That's okay. Fine. 
in the fairway. Okay, when you look at this chip, I mean, you're going straight over the edge of the bunker, okay? Yeah. So, if it were me, yeah. and I'm trying to break 90, I'm going to hit this the right distance, yeah. so I'm going four foot right to that pin. So we're not even aiming at the pin? No. See, he <laughs> went over the right edge, and then... Back. A shocking strike, but dead straight. Yeah, just like that. Perfect shot. That's the one. That's the one in the cup. Hey, just a bit. He told me he hadn't enjoyed golf like that for so long. He told me he didn't even want to play golf anymore a few weeks before this round. He felt in control and relaxed the whole day, even though his score wasn't great. I have no doubt if he practices the shots needed to break 90, he will get there. The process will take time, but if you've been struggling to break 90 for years, give the minimalist method a chance. One more thing, do a bag audit. Forget the clubs that screw you, leave them at home. Forget the shots you can't hit and hit the ones you can. You'll remove decision paralysis because your options are so limited. That means commitment.